Hey guys, Fushido of Team Bad Yugi's here. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Club. And I've got another classic deck profile for you. Now this is a uh, Teledad from, uh, let's see here, up until pretty much the end of Upper Deck Entertainment, uh, February 2009. This was, um, in my opinion, the first true format of modern Yu-Gi-Oh! Because this is when aggression became truly became the name of the game. The tempo, the balance, the crazy power swings. It all started between here and between, like, the Glad format before this. But let's get into the deck profile now. One Stratos, three Mali, one Greffer, one Breaker, one Diamond Dude, one Sangam, one Doomlord, one Necro Gardener, two Spirit Reaper, or one Spirit Reaper, one Plague Spreader. And then we have, of course, two Krebins, one Caius, and one Gorse. Now this was the list that actually uh, got first at the, um, I believe it was the largest Shonen Jump Championship of the format. It was in February of 2009. It was one of the last Upper Deck events. It's not the last. It was in like the, one of the last three. It was definitely one of the last the two Shonen Jumps. One of them. The last three Shonen Jumps. Of course, two Dark Arm Dragon. And then... What made this deck so notable back no, notable back in the day was its insane consistency. Don't look at that mismatch rarity. We have three D draw. We have three Allure. We have two Rota. And two E Telly. Absolutely insane. Like this is blue glads, and for that matter, everything else that was even feasible, out of the water entirely. One brain control, reborn, heavy, one MST. Then for the traps, triple judgment. Now this is oppression dad. We have two oppressions. One torrential, one phoenix wing, and one crush card. For the life of me, I cannot remember the name of the player who uh, piloted this to first. But gosh darn it. This was crazy. Reading about this back in the day and uh... I don't know if I read about it in Beckett or if I read it on the Pojo forums, but I was mostly just reading articles at this point. I wasn't investing in any cards because I wasn't too interested in it. I had no one to play with. But just reading about this format, knowing what was being played, just, oh, it was insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, three Stardust, two Thought Rollers, two Colossals, two Red Dragons, two Black Rose, two Goya, um, one Revive King, one Android, and of course Gurs token. Gurs. Um, now since I only play the mirror match for this format, I don't play any zombies or any uh, glad beasts. If you ever build this, um, I just recommend changing this out for whatever you want. There weren't that many options. You could play a third Goyo, I guess. Um, I don't know. I haven't really figured out what I want to take out for it yet. I'll figure that out. Will I update the profile for that? Not really. Because in the end, it's just the 15th card anyways. It's what you'll be summoning the least. As in, probably less than three red dragons. But, um... Less than a third red dragon archfiend. But, anyways. I digress. This was Teledad. One of the best formats. One of the the most expensive meta of all time in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. Eat, poop, necros. Eat, eat, poop. Uh, dragon rulers. Prophecy. Um, you ain't got nothing on this format thousands of dollars to rock this main deck um be sure to like comment subscribe uh check the sub box for duels um deck profiles of other formats any references maybe some rulings some how to's i've got a lot of links be sure to peruse on the channel find whatever you need you know the drill you know the shill um drop double dark arm dragon for game my boys